hello, 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 hello. Welcome on in, welcome on in. Hi, Super, how's it going? How was your day today? Oh, and Long Cat is here, as per usual, to help us test our sound and say hello in the very beginning. Hopefully he'll be a good cat. Um, he, we tried to get his energy out right before the stream, but maybe he has other plans, we'll see. But yeah, today I think we're gonna um, try to do Carlac's uh, storyline. And this is another quest that I'm confused about. So yesterday's quest I was a little bit confused about, the first game uh, playthrough. And then this one I'm also a little bit confused about. So we'll try to figure it out a little bit more and see if we can understand um, what is going on. Hi, Psycho! How's it going? Yeah, you arrived just in time. We just started out. Yeah, we're gonna try to um, see if we can do a little bit of Carlac's story line today. Because there are these paladins that she says are actually bad guys. And we're gonna go kick some paladin butt right now. But I, this entire side of the map that we're on right now, I think I was confused about um, all of the storylines on this side of the map, that upper side of the map. You found my TikTok and followed? Oh, thank you so much. You are probably my first follower. I don't think I, I don't think I had zero followers the last time I checked because uh, yeah, I think there's only one TikTok on there. Thank you. Oh, thanks for being my first follower on TikTok. I'll put more TikToks up. Thank you. Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, last time I checked, I had zero Soldier? followers. First not, um, this was not, accidental. not even my Can't mom. Even... <laughs> well, I don't think she has a TikTok, so. Because um, I think for a long time, the only um, follower on YouTube I had was, like, the cat and... Uh, Let's see. <laughs> And we're doing pretty well on, on YouTube right now, too. Uh, if you have a YouTube and you want to follow on there, then, then yeah, that's cool. Because we're doing pretty well on YouTube. One of the shorts, you know how short form content is, but one of the shorts got 8,000 views. I was like, oh my god. But that's just because it was a short and probably people, um, little their thumbs can't scroll fast enough to get away from it. <laughs> well, I don't know, maybe people liked it. Hi, Empire, how are you doing? How was your day today? Okay, so here it is. This is where we're gonna be focusing today. Um, this is Carlac's quest, so we'll stay with Carlac. Um, and I'm, I'm confused about this quest, to be honest. I didn't understand it the first time, and hopefully this time I'll get a better idea of what exactly is going on. So these are the paladins that she sent us in. I think that they're going to be in here. She sent us to go um, give these guys a hard time. If I ever want to play Valorant sometime, we're always down to play. Okay, yeah, we, I think that, that that's cool because um, we should we should play because we haven't played in uh, two weeks. I haven't played Valorant in two weeks, and if I'm gonna get better at it, I need to to play. So yeah, well, we will play because I feel like um, people people liked. Um, Valorant when I played it. I think Yoink. I've been kind of torturing people with uh, too much Baldur's Gate, but that's kind of what I want to play. One of the only things I want to play right now is Baldur's Gate, but I, I do feel that I just keep um, playing it, even though it's not necessarily what people are the most interested in seeing me play. <laughs> but we'll play Valorant at some point again. Empire Day was good. Um, 
How's my day? Or am I nervous about tomorrow? Yeah, I am. So I get the cat's um, lab uh, bl blood work, lab results tomorrow, um, and we'll see if, if hopefully everything is fine. I am kind of nervous, but you know, it, whatever happens, um, we'll, we'll be catching it later or like early on, you know. And it might be an easy fit. Oh, that's terrible! What the heck? A severed arm? Something over there. What's over here? Harlock. A burrow? Not a chance I'd fit. Oh, okay. Um, who has shrinking powers in our party? Oh, <laughs> Long Cat's getting riled up. <laughs> he just raced through his cat tunnel. Long Cat, stop it! <laughs> so you like learning about new games that's good um this game is very interesting but it confuses me yeah sa same i get confused a lot during this game but it's so addicting <laughs> it's all i want to play i have a problem you know when you get really into a game and you just you kind of just want to do that for a long time i'm in that place Okay, long cat. All right, set. <laughs> He's like, I'm not a dog. Why do you think I I'm gonna set? Okay, let's see. Who has shrinking do. abilities in our party? I think I might have actually Keep given. Your distance, darling. Do you have? Ooh, you do have disguise abilities. We can make him little. We can make him into a little dwarf. A boop. <laughs> oh, Starion, the little dwarf. Okay. Uh, let's send him into... Where was that hole? She said, there's not a chance I'm getting in there. Can he get in there? That thing is tiny. <laughs> and I am not. Oh no, we have to make him into a cat or something. Mm. Oh, wait. Can Conjured Crab go into the hole? Can we send Conjured Crab into the hall? Oh, this is main character's, uh... Our main character's gonna shine right now. Okay, Conjured Crab, this is your moment. Can you go into this little hole? I, I don't know, I don't think my characters discovered this hole last time I played, so I don't even know what this is. Where is it? Conjured Crab, where's the hole? There it is. Burrow hole. Oh, it's not an option for him to go in there. Hmm. How are we supposed to get in the hole? Uh, do we have anybody who can transform into animals in our group? See, this was... Uh, last time I played, I played as a hey, druid. Okay. So, um, I, uh, I could gate. transform into animals and it wasn't a problem. We don't have anybody who can transform into animals. Huh? Long cat. Hi. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, if you don't know much about uh, D and D, you'll be lost. Yeah, I've played, because I've never, I played D&D &D one time when I was, uh, I think, 10 years old. My uh, godmother's nephew was the dungeon master, and it was, like, during Christmas, and um, w we played one time. It was, like, it was so good, and then I never played again <laughs> until, um, until Baldur's Gate. Let's see, that was me with Valorant recently. I had <laughs> enough of it. I know nothing about DNT, um, but Baldur's Gate has taught me a lot about it. Yeah, that's that's exactly. Yeah, uh, you need a druid. Ooh, we don't have any druids, so yeah, I don't have a druid in my party. Well, I guess it'll remain a, remain a mystery. What's in that hole? Because Conjured Crab doesn't <laughs> Conjured Crab doesn't want to go inside the hole. See, he's like, no. He's like, nope, nope, nope. 
yeah, you can't you can't send conjured crab into the hole. Our main character says no. Because even back at camp, nobody's a druid, right? Nobody, we don't have anyone who can transform. And then even Halson, once we get him, we can't even. He doesn't even join our party. You know what? We could. <laughs> like way late in the game once we get a druid on our party um, we can come back and look into this hole but I don't even know if he can transform it into something little I guess would a cat why would a cat burrow though oh I think you can tr turn into a badger the badgers would be able to burrow I've got a long road oh, well. ahead here let's uh let's heal ourselves right. um, be full Time health for this fight new horrors waiting for us here, Astarian, do you want to turn back into Astarian? Since, uh, you don't... You're not gonna fit into a hole as a little dwarf. There we go. Alright. Let's get going. Let's see. Oh! Empire, you put out your first video? My god, I'm gonna go watch it right after I'm done streaming. Oh, that's exciting. I'm gonna go uh, see it. That's really cool. That's really cool. It's nothing but just a 30 minute tip for beginners. That is awesome, and it's very timely because the game's so new that everybody has so many um, over, questions three. about it. I think that is absolutely the perfect um, thing um, to make a video on right now. I hope the video does really well and that um, that people see it because it's uh, they. I know a lot of people must have tons of questions while learning the game. Okay, I'm trying to think, what is the best strategy for, uh, for getting into this place? If we should go from the top, I'm thinking maybe from the top because it's always better to have the, the upper ground a higher advantage when fighting. Also, I need to learn how to make potions. I saw... I still have yet to make a potion. I know that you can make potions with hyena ears. So we should do that at some point. What is down here? Is that just where we found... Yeah, that's where we found Karlak and then... Um, and then that right there is already Emerald Grove. Okay. Hunt the devil. That's the quest we're doing right now. Alright, let's head on up. Let's try to go from the top. Okay, let's take a look at all the doors. So we've got th these doors right here. Ooh, maybe we can crawl up there and go in through. Oh! <laughs> Is it taking us into a cutscene? Or are we gonna have to talk to her? Let's talk to her and see. Um, save. Let's have Karlak talk to her real quick. Empire, last you checked you had 15 views, that's good. For the first day? That's really good. I I think that's good. Cuz long form content they they um it doesn't get a lot of views at first, but it catches up sometimes, I feel like. Yeah. And then zero comments. I feel like people don't really comment that often on on stuff. They're shy. But no, I'm excited for this video. It's gonna be good. Uh, Karlak. Where did that other lady go? Did she go back inside while I was reading the chat? Attention! 
Should we sneak up? Hmm. I guess... Let's see. Boo! <laughs> she she just yelled boo at the lady. Ye gods, come back for us, have you devil? Anders, the beast has returned. Are they talking about Karlak? Hmm. Supply pack. I'll be having that. Hmm. I think... I'm confused. Well, here, let's, uh, grab some snacks. Okay. Mm -hmm. On it. Let's talk to these guys. Please, no more. Leave us in peace and we shall leave you in kind. Cut the crap, Anders. I know what you are. Don't let her hurt us. Please, we just want to go home. So these guys are servants of Zariel. Zariel is who captured Karlak and took her to the Hells, I think, from my understanding, right? And are these guys here to try to recapture her? I don't know. Okay, can you stop? Thank you. <laughs> That's attention. Okay. Um, let's see. Insight. Oh, I should have added the guidance. Oh, yeah. Okay. There's something in the squint of his eye. Oh. You suspect he's lying. I think long form videos are dying. Kids need uh, subway uh, chasers playing above a video to keep their attention. I think that's true, right? If you don't have slime um, at the top of uh, half of the screen uh, being cut in half or like kinetic sand. <laughs> but I don't know. I think our, our audience hopefully is a little bit old. <laughs> Um, should we confront them and say, enough of this charade, or should we leave? Uh, Alright, we're gonna have to fight these guys. Let's enough. just do it. Enough! I'll not play pretend anymore. Karlak, you're going home in pieces of needs must. And you, you'll soon learn what it means to ally yourself with the likes of this garbage. Avernus was never my home. It was my prison. I'm free now. And I'm never going back! Get him, Karlak. I love Karlak. Are there only two of them? Or there's one more, one more from the back? I guess she, she just hit well. Okay, yeah, there's one more back here. Um, who's the lowest health? We'll, we'll get them first. So we have 30 health, um, only 14, and then 16. Let's get... 
let's get her first, cause then we won't have to worry about anybody being behind us. Oh, nice. Okay. Blood comes easy these days. Yep. Nice. Anything interesting? Ooh. I can't wait until Carlite gets two attacks. <gasps> Conjured Crab! Yes! Main character. Can he jump? He has Misty Step. I didn't. Oh no, Dash. <sighs> yes! Get her. Get her. Not enough action. Ooh, maybe stay there. I don't want him hurt, getting hurt. Forever doors. We can only. Oh, Will is cursed or something or hexed. That's not good. Um, Eldritch blast. Did we get her? Nice. Anything useful? next round. Let's get out of the doorway that way. <laughs> I love that um, uh, Astarian has a little bit of a Naruto oh, so run. Much he, peace. he puts his uh, hands behind his back when he runs. <laughs> All right, Karlak, it's go time. Let's see. I don't hear audio. I tried listening to my headphones. Oh no, wait, hold on. There should be audio. Wait. Oh, 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 oh. I thought for, for our video, or is our. Oh, okay, our, our sound is good. Okay, hold on. Let me go back. Um, figure out what's wrong with the set video or with the sound in the video on your YouTube. That crab jumped across the whole uh, <laughs> the whole bridges is just holding back at the moment. We were talking about Empire's video. Okay. <sighs> I got scared. Cause I don't know I if I don't <laughs> if I don't pay attention to chat I could just like like an hour later I realize there hasn't been sound. Gotcha! Nice! Alright. Fuck them. Fuck Thalariel. That's right, I girl. won't go back. I'm never coming back. We won't let you. And if any of Mummy's little friends want to pick up where the others left off, They'll find nothing but a pile of ash. I love Carlac. Um, 
Zariel won't get near you again. I'll make sure of that. That's right, she won't. She can't. She couldn't even lay a finger! <laughs> I wonder if we get to meet Zariel at one point. Because I don't know. I've never met her. We completed that quest. Oh wait, Karlak, are you okay? Is that Karlak? <laughs> what? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what did she just hit? She just ran outside, hit a wheelbarrow, and... What? Huh? Karlak, you good? Where is she? Oh, she's like burning up. Karlak, what's going on with you? Wait! Oh, is she just like rampaging? <laughs> what is Karlak doing? I didn't see her do this the first time. <laughs> what? Karlak, you good? Is, is she just running around? Where is she going? Wait, why, why do I keep losing health? That ought to do it. Oh, okay. She was just blowing off some steam. Okay. That's fine. Whew. Had to let off a little steam after okay. facing off with those ignots. Okay. <laughs> Understood. Granted the fire's lasting a little longer than it should. How do I look? Hot. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hot. <laughs> Careful, soldier. If I burn any hotter, I might explode. <laughs> Hear that? Oh. Infernal engine for a heart. Let's me burn as hot as the hells. Seems to be running in overdrive since I left Avernus. Won't be seeing my mechanic anytime soon, so I'll just make the most of the extra heat. Just don't get too close till I've found a way to calm it down. This is one quest that I completely messed up, the, my first gameplay, because I didn't know about Infernal Metal, and I didn't find um, it in time, so that's why my um, my Carlac story quest got like kind of a little wonky. So this time we're doing it right, we're getting her her Infernal Metal, or Infernal Iron I guess, I think. Let's see. Um, Mm, how the hells did you get an infernal engine in your heart? High pain tolerance. And a dynamic duo of truly shitty bosses. Mm. But it's a bit early in the game to be getting into tragic backstories. Let's save the Scar show for later. After we've worked up an appetite for tragedy. Meanwhile, I'll need to find someone who can tune up my engine sooner rather than later. Believe me when I say this thing is hot. The first time I faced down those paladins, they let slip there was an infernal mechanic in the area. A tiefling. He might be able to stabilize things, if I can find him. Yeah, we need to go pay him a visit. That's something I definitely did not do the first time. And I missed my whole romance with um, Garlic because she wasn't interested in me. Because I didn't get her her heart fixed in time. Um, yeah, Damon. Damien. Say there's a uh, demon. A weaponsmith, huh? Yeah. Not sure if he's the guy, but I'd love to find out. 
A tune-up would do this rusty heart a world of good. Anything else we need to say to Karlak? So, I'm confused. Were these guys sent to try to take um, Karlak back to the Hells? Yeah. Th they were pretty weak. Why did they... Th why did Zaryel think that those three little guys could take on um, Karlak? Um... Hmm. I'd like to hear how you ended up fighting in the Blood War. Why not? Let me see if oh, I can no. paint you a picture. The year ten air. The place, a sleepy little town called Baldur's Gate. Our hero, Karlak, a knock-kneed delinquent from the outer city, with everything to give and nothing to lose. A little bit alive, no. Eek. Not during Karlak's story. Because she's an outlander, I think. I was a kid looking for a way to fill my days and make some cash when I fell into the wrong crowd. Worked for a guy I respected. A lot. Turns out the feeling wasn't mutual. I just got Arch um I just got events. a notification. Hey, thanks for the follow. Hi, thank you. Hi Plague, thank you. Thank you for the follow. She put this thing in my chest and set me to work. But well, to war. I learned quick how thank to stay you, alive. Plague. And the engine Merry Christmas to you me too. When it came to killing devils. years of that the stories I could tell Let's see if we can make the uh, fix that lag a tiny tiny bit maybe if I close this will it fix it let's see if it does okay yeah, who was your boss? Guy named Gortash. Politician. Okay. Inventor. One of these wheeler dealer types who seems to have a finger in every pie. Okay, this makes a little bit more sense now. Because I never understood the storyline very well. Gortash is a big baddie. I guess I was naive to think everything he got up to was above board. What did I know? I saw a job, a good guys. job, with people I liked, doing work I was good at. Sometimes I'm jealous of that girl. Oh, it feels 
so invincible again. Oh, poor lad. Mm. Let's see. Yeah, what does that infernal engine do for you? Gives Carla? me energy. Power. But you've seen it in action. Very hard to control. I think it, it uh, fix the flag fixed itself a tiny bit, hopefully. I, I shouldn't speak too soon. If I'm excited at Just... all, angry, nervous, delighted, yeah. enticed, oh. I burn hot. Hot enough to burn anyone who gets close. <laughs> you must be pent up. <laughs> um, what has that been like? Agonizing. God's what I wouldn't give for a hug. A uh, pat. Anything. We'll be giving you lots of hugs soon enough. You've never met anyone so desperate for a hug as this one right here. Pathetic, perhaps, but true. It's my lot to bear, and I bear it badly. Haven't had a hug in a very long time as well, though. I completely understand her. Because I, I don't um, live near my family, and I, uh, oh, well. I don't have like a huge Can't have it all, close amount of friends Not here. today, at least. I probably had a hug maybe a few months ago was the last hug I got. <laughs> it felt so good. <laughs> like contact just feels so good. You forget. I mean, I think we all mostly ex have experienced that in the past few years. But I remember I hadn't had a hug in like months and months and months. And then when my friends and I saw each other, we accidentally hugged and it was like the best feeling in the entire universe. It was just like endorphins just flooding your entire body feels so good. So, I understand, Karlak. We'll give you so many hugs once you cool down. Anything else, Why Karlak? Why are we slowing down? That's it, right? Yeah, what's next on the agenda after we've gotten rid of these paladins? First things first, I need to get this engine tuned up. Things powerful, but it's been feeling volatile ever since I left the hells. Oh, you figured out the Can't video. Can't be too hard to find an infernal mechanic around here, right? Yeah, we'll go. We'll go see uh, Damien soon. I'm so lucky I have Long Cat because he gives me all the cuddles. And now, I actually don't remember what's down here, so we're gonna find out. <laughs> what a goldfish braid! I don't remember half the stuff. <laughs> Ugh. I'll never get used to the stench. Of we should have maybe we should have saved before. We'll save right now, just in case something tries to murder us down here. What is it? Oh, okay. Yeah, let's let's save in case uh, there's some creepy crawlies down here. All right, let's take a a little look around. I'm glad you figured out what the issue was. It's gonna get a ton of views now that people can actually hear it. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm glad that you uh, figured it out. Another step forward. Ooh, there's a there is a, a dead fellow down here. A dead toll collector. Okay. We need to actually be reading 
<laughs> what we're picking up. I think I've got a whole inventory full of things we haven't looked at yet. But I don't want to, um, oh wait, I don't want to uh, bore everyone by uh, putting up the uh, text for it too long. Let's see. So slashing vulnerability. I think do, can we can we break down this door because it doesn't look like we can. Um, I did we run out of thieves tools? Was that the problem? Okay, we can do an eldritch blast maybe. Lock picking is impossible. Um, wait, a rapier. That's a pi piercing weapon, right? <laughs> Hmm. Can we Eldritch hey, Blast this dog. thing? Dog. Did it do anything? No. Hmm. What do we do? I don't know how to open this door. Oh, maybe, maybe with crossbow? Let's try it. doesn't want to be open, does it? Let's see. Examine it again. Okay, so uh, slashing vulnerability, and it also has fire vulnerability. And what is this? Force vulnerability. But then resistance is like arrows, right? Um, Will needs to do to this door what he did to that other door yesterday. Oh, I think did it. No, it didn't do anything. Any ideas? Any ideas in chat? Slash with an axe. What's the story? Can't reach destination. What? Why? What's going on with you? There we go. Oh! Nice! Good job! Good job! Thank you for that suggestion. Get him, Carlac. Where Did we just get lucky? Maybe if we keep slashing at it, it'll... It'll decide it wants to break. Um. Mm. I mean, it did it one time. In theory. Like you said, like like I said, you need some knowledge of it. You need to have some knowledge of D and D. Try Will's sword now. Um, I needed. I think he's holding a rapier. It's actually not a sword. It's one of those fencing sword things. I don't think anybody in our party has an actual sword. Actually, what are you carrying, Astarian? Astarian. Do you have a... I think swords and rapiers are a little bit different. I don't know weapons all that well. I think a, a rapier, it's not like you don't... You, you like, poke with it. Huh. Okay. Uh, what's... What's on this side? The pride of the gate. Let's uh let's look in some of these crates. Maybe maybe we'll find a key or something. Sometimes that's how these things work. 
You look around and you find a key and then you don't even need to break into the door. Mm. Some armor. Anything here? What's this? Sword. Um, a shield. We here? At least these are some st some things that we can just sell. I'm afraid to fill up my character's inventory too much. We could always send stuff back to camp, but then you have to sort through it, and I'm lazy. Actually, let's let's grab that axe. That might be useful later. We can give it to, um, to Karlak as a backup axe in case she drops hers, which is something characters can do frustratingly. Because during battle you'll be like, wait, why, why is my character missing their weapon? <laughs> they dropped it. <laughs> and they, they don't know what to do, they don't know how to pick it up. Do you think we'll find a key or something? So we also need to find Infernal Metal, and the way to find it is just open every single box in the entire <laughs> in the entire game. <laughs> and one of the boxes will have one piece of metal, <laughs> but it could be like anywhere, in any of the boxes, in any of the places that we look. In the meantime, let's figure out how we're opening this door in case we don't find a key. Computer's getting a little slow. Ooh, a trident. That is such an odd thing to find in a box. All right. Um. What seemed to work? The, the only thing that worked was her axe, correct? That one time? Any bombs or gadgets in your inventory? Oh, that's a good idea. Didn't know this game had tridents. Never seen one. I know, that's weird. I think I've, I've seen one, but I think it was like the fish people that had it. It wasn't like randomly in a box. I never found one in Act 1. Um, you have a straight sword. Yeah, I try. Oh, Lazel's sword. Yes. All right, let's go to Kevin. Let's grab Lazel. <laughs> Remember yesterday she was sharpening her sword poignantly? She was like, Excuse me, when are you going to put me in your party? Who should we. Who should we dismiss? I think, I don't know. I always, I always like having a Starion in my party because he says really funny things. But he's been with us the whole time. Maybe it's time for him to have a break and then we'll grab Lazel. Or should we, should we let Will rest? What do you think, a Starion or Will? Oh no, wait, what? You, you told, I told, I told her, but she ignored me? I'm sorry, I know, right? Wait, what? I missed it. I missed it. Lazel's sword. No, I, I saw the sword. Do you have a straight sword? Yes, Astarian has a straight sword. We tried it. It didn't work. What did I miss exactly? I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry if I missed something. <laughs> I promise I'm not doing it on purpose. I promise I'm not, like, reading it and just, like, oh, I'm not, I'm not gonna acknowledge that. <laughs> If I miss something, it's an accident. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, okay, let's see. 
Okay, Astaria, you've been with us the whole time. Maybe you can sit at home for a minute? Where is he? We're gonna grab Lazel. Because Lazel has that awesome sword. She's got the best sword in the game. And we have not used her once because she's kind of a... <laughs> she's not a meanie. I need to s stop thinking that way. That's what everyone thinks, but she's... She truly is a very cool character. Where the heck is Astarian hiding? He's like hiding. I don't see him. Is he upstairs? Is he in here? Hello? Astarian. Maybe he wants to stay in our party. Let's just dismiss Will. For now. Sorry, Will. I couldn't find Astarian. You're lacking coming. Oh wait, I'm, I'm so what? silly. We, we can find Astarian by clicking on him. Okay. Oh. But where is he? Karlak's all fire. I guess we're talking fury. to Will now. That's fine. I pray to the triad it doesn't consume her. We'll dismiss Will and then. Are you sure? The blade stands at the ready. Oh, we'll we'll come get you soon, okay? And just when things were warming up. Oh, now I wanna kind of wanna dismiss the Starion instead and keep Will with me. Oh, why why can I only have four? Or three. I want all of them in my party all the time. She was down here, right? She's down here, I think. There she is. Come join us. Yeah, look at her sword. <laughs> it's bigger than she is. <laughs> and it's the it's a flaming sword. It's uh, one of it's the sword that I got her in Act One from the Hells. Um, I. Uh, I <laughs> Isn't it glorious? Karlak's fury is a wonder to behold. On the Nololoid, I killed somebody <laughs> that was trying to help us, and I took their sword for Lazel. Because that's the one point in the game where you can get that sword it and you done. can't get it anywhere else in the game. So, alright, Lazel, we need to level her up real quick. But I think it's easy to level her up because there's not that many options. I think you just click make her a better fighter and that's the only option. Asarian has a dagger, doesn't he? Not a sword. I gave him a sword. Because daggers, he has a dagger in the beginning but I replaced it with a sword because the daggers don't do much. You picked up a sword in one of those crates. Yeah, I did. Um, sorry. Uh, proceeds to bring <laughs> a whole army to kill one poor null. <laughs> Let's see, what kind of thing should we have her do? I don't know what any of these are. I think I just chose at random. Um, let's see, Commander Strike. Uh, any of these look interesting to you guys? Disarming attack. I don't want to spend too long leveling her up because I don't think that's the most interesting thing. Let's see, Distracting Strike? Distract your opponent. Evasive footwork. Oh, I kind of like that actually because um, uh, I, that's something she'll autonomously do, I think. Like when people are trying to stab her, she'll just step out of the way. I think that's what that means. Um, Use both your action and bonus action um, to turn to attack target with advantage and deal an addition, additional 1v8, uh, 1d8 damage. Um, distracting is good ally. Allies attack with advantage. Distracting? Okay, let's do distracting. Uh, and then one more. M 
Menacing attack? What is that? That sounds scary. Let's uh, have her frighten our, her enemies. Does that sound good? Okay, let's do that. Because I think we need to level her up more time, so I don't want to spend too much time being too precious about these things, because I think probably most of the things are pretty good. Okay, she gets to choose a feat, and we're having all of our... <laughs> All of our characters do performance because we want to start a band. <laughs> that way they all know how to play musical instruments. <laughs> I wish you didn't have to use up one of the slots just so that they could learn a musical instrument. But it is pretty fun to have them play all in, a gr all in the group. Alright, let's go. Okay. Alright, Lazal, time to use your scary sword. It's a big sword. Wait, is that the that's that is the sword, right? That we've that was that's the really good one? I thought it was on fire. When I when I gave it to her, the blade was on fire and like now it's not. I wonder if that was in the new update, or... Hmm. I don't know. Alright. Well. I guess it doesn't matter what it looks like, but it did look cool when it was all on fire. Nice! <laughs> Sweet! That was a great idea. Thank you so much. Disarm chap. Let's see. Let's what's in here. So this place is full of traps. We just have to make sure not to step on anything too crazy. Okay, good. They're avoiding the traps, right? Some nice little potions. More potions. Ooh, 200 gold. I'll be having that. Uh, we can sell those. Rotten mushroom. Rotten cheese. Let's see. Not too many interesting things, huh? can't reach this. Come on. Some bottles, some shoes. What's in here? I don't want to miss anything in case it's important. We might find like a key or something. Some of these might have the infernal metal we're looking for. Hold on, I remember this. This this thing's a I remember this, yeah. Uh, let's see. The vases are so frustrating because there's never anything in the vases until there is. <laughs> and you look through like a hundred vases and then and one of the vases will be one key that you need. Oh, I'm getting nervous that they're failing so many perception checks because that means they're gonna step on a they're gonna step on a trap pretty soon. <laughs> Anything in the book? 
stuck. Carafe of water. That would have been useful during the fire. An axe. Okay. So for this one, I think, from what I remember. I think this day is interesting. One sits here. The other sits here. Wait, come on. Sit. You sit here. Oh wait, ungroup. That way they don't follow each other around. And then other person sits here. Bum bum bum! I that. <laughs> With goldfish brain, I still remember. Traps. How considerate. Oh, sorry, and you wanna, um, either we need to, we can jump around it or we can disarm it. Here, let's, do, oh, oh no, they need to keep sitting. Lizelle, can you keep sitting? <laughs> keep sitting, Lizelle. Lizelle, set your butt down. She's like, I've been sitting at camp for so long. I'm not sitting <laughs> on this mission. Disarm this, please. It's fun, yes, but performance is better on a bard. I know, but it's but it's fun. What's a game if you're not having fun, right? <laughs> it does fire damage. Yeah, the sword. It was on fire before. The whole sword was on fire. It looked hella sick. And now it just looks like a regular sword. Like a really big sword, but I don't know why it's not on fire anymore. Um, yes, I think that they're avoiding because they pass the perception check. Yeah, they they did pretty well. They actually didn't step in anything. I wasn't I was expecting um, them to accidentally step on stuff. Ooh, okay. Don't so mind if I do. We found some nice stuff in here. Be careful. There are traps about. I think um, Astarian has a lot of stuff in his inventory. I don't want him to get encumbered, but I think no. um, Karlak doesn't have that much in her inventory. So let's give everything to Karlak that we find in here. Ooh, okay. Nice. Ooh. What is that? What's it called? The pleasurable deal? <laughs> A little light reading for nighttime. Are these some of the things, can we feed Gail some of this stuff or no? None of them are, are magical items. What's this, gold? Nice. Oh, we've got some nice health potions up here. I'll be having that. Anything else? I see an axe. I see, what is that? A staff. Did she not grab the axe? Why are they being so slow? Gold. Anything else over here? There's a chest. Ah, oh, why not? A crossbow. Um, let's check all the, the vases in here, just in case. Ugh, there's so many of them. <laughs> I hate this. But it's like, <laughs> that's so frustrating about vases, is that there's never anything in them until there is. 
And me thinking, okay, so I think that since there are so many bases, there must be something in one of them. Like, the, the g game devs just kind of, it's just kind of a joke, like, oh, let's put 25 million vases. Like, I think in Act 2 there's this thing where there's like a hundred vases, and then one of the vases has the, the key that you need, <laughs> and you can't, um, you can't keep going until you find the stupid key. But luckily, when I was playing by myself, I kind of don't mind. Um, do it, doing this kind of thing. I just don't want it to be boring for people to, to watch me open a million vases, but when I'm by myself I don't mind looking in every single little corner. It's kind of fun for me. Not exactly fun, but I don't, it's not, I, I'm not worried about it, you know, the way I worry that it might be boring. Okay, I think we checked in all of them and there was nothing. I mean, it was worth a shot. One more vase. Is that just a mel melted candle? Yeah. Okay. I think we got everything. Not seeing anything else. I think that's it. Moving it. Hundred vases, one has your key. <laughs> you can get ten checks. Choose wisely. <laughs> um, all right. picture of Burr. We can check these books. Pouch. The pouches never have anything good. You think it, it'll be like, oh, I'm getting, you know, like some money or something out of the pouch. And I've never found anything cool in a pouch. Um, rotting fruit. A vase. <laughs> More vases. I'm just so scared that we'll miss the infernal metal. We need to find the infernal metal somewhere in this world. Because we need to fix Carlac's heart if we want to give her a hug. Or anything else. Uh -huh. Okay. I think... Uh, is it worth it? <laughs> There's no- there hasn't been anything in any of these vases yet. That wasn't a vase, that was a crate. <laughs> okay. I think I think we've pretty much got everything. Okay. Alright. Anything else? So there's that room. I don't think there's anything else like Oh, hold on. What's this? Let's take a look at the map real quick. I think that's it. There's like no secret doors or anything that we see. Because I know that these little places, they love to have more secret doors. I don't know if there's more down here, I don't remember. Okay, we'll, we'll glance at all the walls real quick. I don't think there's anything else left in here. I think that was it. Like...
nothing behind here. No secrets. I think we're good. We're pretty good. Here, let's regroup. Oh, <laughs> let's make sure Astarian get out of there before the, <laughs> the gate closes. <laughs> that would be pretty funny to accidentally trap Astarian in there. <laughs> like they both get out of the chair, get um, they stand up and leave, <laughs> and then he's stuck. Oh no. Let me at it. I think we're done down here. I don't see anything else. Unless, do you see anything else? I don't really. We can move some of these. Just to make sure we can, like, take a look towards the door. Or at the walls. I don't see anything. I like that you can, like, kind of, well, for the most part, stack crates. I don't think... Maybe to over here, let's just move a couple of these just in case. Because I don't remember. There, there might be something in here that we're missing. How high can we stack these? Not really. Not a lot. No, I don't think there's anything else in here. I think we got it. I think we're good. Alright, let's go. Okay. That was like a little side questy kind of a thing, wasn't it? So, so you know about these parasites. <gasps> what happened? Will we survive? <laughs> screaming in pain. Who's getting pummeled? Okay. Wonderful. <laughs> Alright. Um, did we, ch we checked all the bodies, right? Yeah, we did. Um, oh yeah, let's check some of these things up here. Sorry, I, I know. It's, it's, a, it's like a pain to check all of these things. But we do need to find that metal, and that's the only way to find the metal, is to check bloody everything. Um, there is a ton of stuff in here, like boxes and stuff, but I don't even think it would be in here. I think the metal might be in one of the boxes. Um, you know that place we were in yesterday? Um, that. Uh, with the lady that's trying to get the unopened crate and how all of those crates are, if we touch them, it's like considered stealing. There might be something in there. That might be some, some place that we would find um, the infernal metal at. I don't know though. Because last time I found the infernal metal, I didn't know what it was. So I think we've done kind of uh, pretty much everything on this side of the map. Okay. This was the side of the map that confused me the most. Like this is the place we were at yesterday with the burning building and everything, um, and Will's uh, Will's dad storyline. Then this was the missing cargo. This was where we fought all the gnolls. And then this is where we just were right now. It's where we found Karlek over here. Emerald Grove is here. So now I think the next thing that we're gonna do, probably not today, but next time we're gonna head over to this village right here. And we're gonna kick some goblin butt in this village. What are these things? Let's see. 
Yeah, this is where Auntie Ethel lives. What is this? Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> so Sals is the goblin we rescued um, from the Emerald Grove. It's one of those questionable things where you probably shouldn't rescue a goblin, but I think you can save her, rescue her three times in the game. And in my last playthrough, I rescued her w once, and then the second time I accidentally got her killed. <laughs> so this playthrough, we're gonna try to rescue her all three times, because you get an achievement if you rescue her three times. And then, yeah, we're gonna go kick some goblin butt. We'll do this village first, and then we'll go in for the main the main story over here. That'll be our next mission of what we do. I'm never filling out the map because the farther you go you, you fill out the map further and it always drives me crazy when you can't fill in these little places on the map because um, you can't get to them. Like it's too rocky or something. So there's little holes in the map. But I think we filled out the map pretty far as much as we can. Okay, you won't tell me where, but there are eight locations that you can find Infernal Metal. Hmm. Yeah. We're gonna have to find some. Hopefully, wait, eight locations in, in total in the whole game, or eight locations in Act 1? Because I feel like um, eight locations in the whole game is, sounds pretty accurate. Because you don't get that many chances almost. Uh huh. Wait, wait. Eight locations in the game. Yeah, sounds about right. Uh. Yeah, so we need to keep an eye out for that. Actually, let's end with this. Let's go to the Emerald Grove and have um, have Carlac talk to. Uh, Damien, uh, we need to do a, a long rest too, but we'll, we'll do that later. Let's have, yeah, let's travel to the Emerald Grove. Have we saved recently? Let, let me save in this location first real quick. Oh shit, hold on. Not load, save. So we'll save real quick, and then we'll head over to the Emerald Grove. We'll meet Damien, who can, uh, who's gonna be the one who's gonna try to help her. All right. I wish there was a waypoint a little closer to the grove. I think we'll we'll just be able to come across the um, infernal metal at some point. If we don't, I'll look it up because I really want Carlac to be able. Because yeah, before we start messing with that, that was my problem last time. I killed all the goblins, the tieflings left, and David left with the tieflings, and then I had the infernal iron, but there was no Damon, mm -hmm. and I was like, no. Nah. <laughs> So this time I have to make sure before I start messing with the goblins that um, we have the infernal metal. I do so very well. This place. <laughs> what is the story of <laughs> spicy food? Who who did he see that he thinks is spicy? We'll sell some of the stuff we found, but I feel like that's boring. So let's go talk to you. I don't want to start messing with our inventory too much. I'll get stuck doing that. Um, here we go. It, I always get panicked when I'm loading into somewhere and I don't see the people right away because they load in really slowly. So I'm like, oh no, he's gone. <laughs> Hey, 
man. Thought I sensed an inferno around here. But you aren't from Elturel. What's your story? Those long, awkward Spent pauses. a bit of time in the hells. Enlisted against my will by the Archdevil Zariel. Same as you, I suppose, if you're from Elturel. I do wonder if we're gonna get to meet Zariel. Because I, I really don't know yet. The devils were delighted when your city was swallowed up. I thought they had you for keeps. Glad you got out. got lucky. It looks like you did too. And you brought some infernal machinery with you. <gasps> Wait, do we... I was excited for a second. I thought we already had the infernal metal. We just didn't notice that we'd found some. A little gift from Zario. Keeps me burning hot. Very hot by the smell of it. Might be burning it out of piston ring. By the smell of it. Leaking oil. Mind if I take a listen? I wonder what Carl smells like. But don't get too close or your eyes will melt shut. Oh god. <laughs> That's what she should be doing to our enemies. She should be hugging our enemies. <laughs> she should be giving out a hundred hugs a day to all of our enemies. <laughs> Kill them with kindness. Phew. You really are burning up. Whoever put that engine together tried to house metallurgized demono valves inside a Ragnax alloy casement. Very risky. I'm sorry about that, that rattled your ears. I know I accidentally touched the mic. I might be able to help. I'd need infernal iron. And a prayer that my hammer will survive the work. That thing isn't meant to operate outside of Ernest. I'm not sure how much longer it'll keep running the way it's going. Will you be able to turn down the temperature a little? Worried I'm gonna go in for a handshake and singe someone's arm off one of these days. I'd worry about surviving the night first. But help one, help both. If we can cool you off, it'll stabilize your engine and allow you to touch whomever you please. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, let's see. <laughs> Let's see, uh, where should we look for internal iron? I've sensed some during our travels. It has a, a pull to it. Absolutely magnetic. Once I wish it was more magnetic than it is. <laughs> I can show you where I'd look. Where? Where would you look? Because I have no idea where I found it last time. <laughs> I just, I know you can find it in chests and stuff, and like in boxes and crates. And... We'll find it. Um, let's see. 
Uh, we'll keep we'll keep our eyes open. Meanwhile, I've still got plenty of weapons and armor in stock if you're looking to load up. Let's take a look at what he has. I think all of our guys have decent weapons, though, right? Let's see. Although, a, another crossbow, because not all of them have um, magical crossbows. They just have regular crossbows. I like that. Had an armor. I don't know, I'll, I'll take a look at this later. I feel like it's... <laughs> it's a little boring to go shopping. Is there anything we want to sell real quick? We can sell some of these. Actually, that's kind of cool. Maybe I'll send that to camp. Uh, this will find a bunch of... Sorry. <coughs> I don't know what got in my throat right now. <laughs> yeah, we can sell the quarter stuff because I think the only one that uses the quarter stuff right now is um Gale, and I think he's got, he's got something or other. Oh shit, no! What was that? An antidote? No! Can we get it back? There's only eight, that's fine. We might need that. <laughs> no! <laughs> Why is this happening? <laughs> I'm losing money. <laughs> oh my god. Hold on, give that back. Shadowheart uses a shield, but she's got her own shield. What's this? <laughs> a severed arm? Ew! I wish that when you put jewelry on them, you could actually see it. Like if you put a ring on them or a necklace, you would actually see it on them, but you don't see it. Mm. Let's keep everything else just in case. Or do we really need two great swords? We'll find others here. Let's 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 sell one of them. And then Yeah, we'll, we'll hold on to one. She's got so much, so much crap in her inventory. We'll sort this out later. There's so many things we need to read. We need to read all these books. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright. Well. Forged from the heart. I think that is good. Ooh, it's almost one. Ooh. I didn't realize it was this late. I need to get up early tomorrow. Unfortunately. Uh, we'll save here and we will head out for the night. Thank you so much for joining. This has been really fun. Um, hold on. Not, not load or just trying to save. Yeah, thank you for joining. Um, Empire, I'm so excited to see your video. I, you're, you're reloading it, right? Um, it's three for you. It's so late. I'm so sorry I streamed so late. I, it's not my preference. I would stream earlier if I could, but life. Uh, 
Yeah, I'll, uh, I'm really excited to go um, see your video. You said it's reloading. If it's not there uh, when I go to look for it, I will come back and look for it um, tomorrow. Because I'm kind of almost falling asleep right now, so I need to try to try to sleep. Let's see who is on. Okay, hold on. Yeah. Uh -huh. Let's see. The video isn't going anywhere. That's good, yeah, because I'll, I'll, I'll watch it tomorrow, because I think tonight it's late. I am excited. All right. Thank you so much for joining. We will uh, come back for this tomorrow, day number two. 29 or is it 30? I think it's what, what was today? Day Today was day 29. So tomorrow's day 30. If we stream tomorrow, we will have streamed for uh, 30 days in a row. Every single day for 30 days, which is insane. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully that's a nice even number, or not, not even <laughs> round number, not even, <laughs> but a, a nice rounded number. So I. Uh, we'll try really hard to stream tomorrow. Um, I'm getting off work a little earlier tomorrow, so I might be able to stream a little earlier. Uh, but whenever I come home, <laughs> I don't know. It's it's so hard not to nap. But no, we'll 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 uh, we'll come back for tomorrow unless something happens. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining. I will see you um, very soon, and. Uh, I hope you have a good rest of your night and enjoy, um, yeah, enjoy the rest of your night. And we're going to be raiding um, uh, Space Babe. She is playing Lethal Company, which is a game that I'm excited to play at some point. I still don't have the game, but um, it seems like people are really having a lot of fun with that game. So um, let's go and say hi to her. Um, have a good rest of your night, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!